Hey, welcome back to Gadget Mad Lad. This is another Tech Teardown episode. In this episode, I'm still looking for that elusive fuse. So I can do the game by Macro Mod. <laughs> still on that, obviously. Uh, so today we're breaking down, or well, tearing down, a Sky modem. I'm not 100% sure the exact... Oh, there we go. Model number is ER110. ER110, whatever. Uh, the details of it are not really much use to us. Um, these are quite useful for, like, ha you know, not hackers, um, what do you call it? Engineer type people. If you want to, like, make your own little wireless network or something like that, these can be modified to do that. Some pretty cool little things you can do. So, get back in, get, get away from talking crap again and get straight into the teardown side. So, is there any screws to remove? Are we talking as clips? Let's tear the feet off and have a look. That doesn't want to come off, but I'm assuming clips. So, what we'll do, I'll get our friend the spludger. Spludger. Is there any access for any screws anywhere? I'm not seeing anything, so I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is Connor M's going to start prying away. See what I can do. Oh, that's pretty easy. Oh, there we go. So we've got a, this is on the bottom of it. This is what we need to pry off. And this reveals one, two, three, four Phillips crosshead screws, which we'll quickly remove. Is that screwdriver good for him? Not a bit big, that one. Oh, sugar. This one should be fine. So let's remove these screws. I was having a laugh before scrolling through YouTube and I came across one of my videos and because of the way I speak like a Mancunian accent the actual subtitles me and my missus, my girlfriend were laughing our heads off at what he thought I was saying I'm hoping people actually can understand what I'm saying <laughs> I'm hoping I come across clear enough and people can understand me because apparently YouTube <laughs> yeah, subtitles Thing just watch my videos back and see, <laughs> it's hilarious. Making like talking gibberish, making no sense at all. <laughs> so, I'm doing this off camera, it's just it's a really stiff screw. So, I tend to kind of like put me elbow grease into it, really get me put me back into it. <laughs> so, once I've removed these screws, I will show you what, where we are. There's two more to do. So remove that one, remove that one, oh, sorry, remove that one, remove that one. And now it's time for this and this. So I've got to get that done. Oh my god, they are stiff screws. I can't really do it on my work table because the camera is kind of balanced up right at the moment to give me this angle. And if I start knocking it about with the motion it's going to take to loosen these buggers, and it's going to make the camera shake like a, well, as I say, what do you call it? Earthquake. And we don't want that happening. Because my image stabilization on my camera is great. Oh my god, that is not coming off. It's gonna make me thread and my screw go that. Uh, let's see if I've got a better screwdriver that can get stuck in there a bit more. Down to the very last screw, and it's being. Uh, relentless little crapper. So. What I shall do, get the screwdriver that my friend Charger gave me. See if this can make mince meat of it. Get it in there. That's not going in there, is it? Is it? Let's start tightening off one now. We need one that's more stabby. It's not quite sharp enough to go into the thing. I think that one might be though. That's one down. Should try that in the first place. So here we go. Can we get this last screw out? Yep, it's going. I, oh, is it going? I think it's going. Oh, oh god, that is stiff. Yeah, it's coming loose. Drag it on camera if I can. Take it out. 
I don't think you need to see the screaming list, but there you go for your viewing pleasure. <laughs> And the auto focus isn't focusing that anyway, is it? So, there you go. Do the last screw turns, and that's it. Should be free now. Holy hell, was that an effort that it didn't need to be? So, put my screwdriver a bit back away because we don't want to misplace in that. Try and get put that back in it for now. Prior to, because I've been no doubt we're going to need about this screws because we're not going to need these because. This is going to be scrapped for pieces, or parts, what do you want to call it? And so what do we do now? I'm assuming these clips maybe. See these? So there's them two. And either side, two there as well, and two there. So what I'm thinking is that's going to pry off somehow. Let's see if we can get some action. Is all the screws removed? Pretty sure it is. Let's see if we can get a flat screwdriver in there. Get out of the way, you. Yep. Let's pry it apart now. Oh bugger. <laughs> Try to pry it open in. Just be careful on the inside I'm stabbing because I'm trying to pry it open off screen. Oh my god, that is an effort. Come on. I'll open it except for the back bit there. Let's so just keep popping back in. So there was a hidden screw. I just ripped it open. And I find there's a hidden screw in the little hexagon pattern. I am blind as a bat. I'm guessing you probably saw that on, but I did not see that at all. <laughs> oh, crap. Never mind. I'm not seeing, oh, I see some fuses. I was gonna say, I'm not seeing any fuses, but I do see something. I had a two RS and I had right ones. 394, oh, 1201. That's the, I think one of the strong ones I've up to yet. So let me take the screw off, off camera. Yeah, I think from all the yanking at it, it's loosened it anyway, so. Come on, there we go. So that's that, we snapped the plastic. Should be able to access the board now, fully. So, I've got the few little goodies in there. And let's have a look, this. We've got on this side then, a couple of uh, BGA chips. I don't know if that's tantalum or not. I know the yellow, if you see that and it's yellow, that's tantalum. That's worth some money, that. And we've got a Wi Fi aerial. We've got an ETH and an. Is that another Wi Fi? I think that's WLAN or something, maybe. Yeah, yeah, it is. I see there. <coughs> we've got a heatsink. Probably a BGA chip on the EFS as well. Some nice seed. I don't know if you can see this or not. Right, so we've got some. MLCs, these I've got palladium in, I think, or something like that. I'll I'll save these. They're actually good for modding modifying PS3s as well. So I've heard. We're looking for something like this at the moment. Oh, can I get you on camera? We're looking for something like this. This little black thing with a silver bit either side. But it's got to be a specific one. It needs to be one that says three thousand or more on it. I'm not seeing anything in there. I'm assuming that's on board memory or something, like RAM or something maybe. We've got um crystal oscillator there, I think that's what that is. Gold plated one. He's got nice gold plating connectors on them as well, so 
I'll snip them off anyway. Plenty of copper in them and stuff like that. Gold pins on them. That oh, I might find the right place somewhere. <laughs> gold pins on these for the um well not gold pins, gold plated pins should I say. Gold plated things on these connectors for the Wi Fi things. Anything that's like that, and like that's got good twenty four karat gold pins inside it as well, so the RAM chips. I don't know, like, look around the board, see if I can see anything else of use. There's a couple more fuses there, but that's it. Oh, you can see that. This my fingernail. Can't really access to see what numbers they've got on them. 12, 12, I think that's what it's saying on it. I have a magnifying glass to be able to see clearly. But let's see if I get this off. Should we are right near the end now? I've got um, another video of a boxed right. I'll quickly show you before we go for the next episode. And so what I'll be doing with this, I'll be stripping this down for part components and putting it in my board pile once I've got the all the bits that I want for scrap and I'll use the rest for repairing other things that are missing similar parts or similar looking components. These as well are uh, capacitors. They're um, just made of any aluminium well since they're made of any aluminium but if you scrap that in that's called any aluminium and it's not as good as aluminium is on the scrap value but it's not bad it's i think it's like i'm not too sure to be i i can't really tell you but potentially these by the pound are worth saving up so you might end up like say how many we've got on there one two three four five five on this side that's nothing but once you've been through your phone 500 board that pile is going to be starting to be getting big and starting to be getting heavy and you scrap that in and you got a few quid coming your way in the back here we've got some of the components nothing majorly good but a couple of fuses that I can use for other stuff MLC's again you can tell it's an MLC because next to the brown looking stone where are we going? where are we going here? alright yeah here we go so if you look at my finger is coming from the bottom C11 7 so it's a C next to it and what's all the ones over here they've got a C next to them as well the C means capacitor not resist if it's got anything else other than C it can have C and whatever number it's got that's fine as long as it's got a C before the number they're the M MLCs monolithic capacitors they're called and like I said they've got palladium in them I think it's palladium it's Something that's really precious essentially, and you can get make some good money off that. So, but they need to get the pounds a pounds worth at least for it to be worth something. It's not like um, scrap steel where you need like um, the ton and stuff like that. And yeah, it's all saying. So the next episode. So what do we move this one off? Episode. I keep saying episode. <laughs> Mean video. The next video will be this. Unbox this brand new. Brightbox wireless router and tear it to pieces and see if you can find that bleeding fuse that I'm looking for. So if you wanna watch you wanna see that, tune back in next time and I'll see you then. Bye for now.